everything that came out i'm showing y'all this side because i got a big old pimple on this side <laughs> so today my right side is my good side i walk like this i walk like this i just in the video i don't edit my pics i work for it i want my and when i'm walking by i know the truth is you want to know how she get that like that like yeah yeah Hey y'all, it's Keisha and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a get ready with me while answering some questions so y'all can get to know me. I found uh, like 30 plus questions online for a get to know me YouTube tag video. So that is what I'm gonna be doing while doing my makeup. So y'all can get to know me since my channel is still fairly new and I've just started being consistent. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna start uh, with my usual everyday face makeup while answering some questions. Okay, so the first question is, where are you from? I am born and raised in Columbus, Ohio. I've lived here all my life and I still live here because I actually like it. Ask any of my friends, they're like, Keisha, why do you wanna stay in Ohio? And I'm just like, Cause I like it here, I'm comfortable here, you know? I can go travel, visit anywhere else that I want to, but I always like to come back home where I'm comfortable. Do you have any siblings? I have one older sister. Uh, she is about six years older than me and her name is Adelaide. Uh, the palette I'm using for my eyeshadow is the Dose of Colors Desi Katie Friendcation Palette. This is what she looks like, very pretty. So next question is, what are you currently doing for work? Uh, I work in finance, I'm a cost analyst. I'm not gonna say the company that I work for, you know, I thought about it. <laughs> I thought about it, but yeah, I'm not gonna do that to myself. People on the internet are wild, but yeah, you know, it's, it's a job, like I don't love it. I don't dislike it. It's just, you know, what I do to make money. <laughs> what are your hobbies? Um, I like to read. I read almost three books a month. Uh, there's an app called Libby and it's completely free. All you do is put in your library card number. You can check out audiobooks and ebooks uh, completely on the app. I have it on my iPad and my phone. So if I'm like listening to an audiobook, I'll usually just listen on my phone. But if I have an ebook to actually read, I like to do it on my iPad just because the screen's bigger. But yeah, I'd be reading like three books a month. I love reading. I also love movies. Um, I love playing tennis. I actually played tennis in college and I still play tennis to this day. Uh, I haven't so much anymore just because in the winter I really just don't be wanting to leave the house so <laughs> I have not played as much as I'd like to uh, but when spring and nice weather comes back I will start playing again. I love playing tennis and I love to travel. Is traveling a hobby? I don't know if I can consider that my hobby because I feel like I don't travel enough for it to be like a hobby hobby, but yeah, I like to travel. So travel, read, play tennis. I like to shop probably a little bit too much, but I'm, ju I'm just a girl. Okay, so do you play any sports? Yes, I play tennis, like I already said, and before that I used to play soccer. Uh, do you have any pets? I have a dog and a cat. They're both 10 years old, and my cat's name is Pixie, and my dog's name is Harper. And they're so cute, I love them both. Let's see, have you been out of the country? Yes, ma'am. I actually took my first trip out of the country um, after I, was it after I graduated college or was I still in college? I think it was after I graduated college. So 2018 was my first out of the US trip. And I actually went to visit one of my friends who lives in the Bahamas. Um, 
we were on the tennis team in college together. So uh, yeah, she's from the Bahamas, she lives there. I don't think she lives there currently. I'm pretty sure she lives in London now, but yeah. It was a lot of fun, uh, it was a really great trip. I will say that if I ever go back to the Bahamas, which I definitely would, um, I would not stay with her again. I would like to get like an Airbnb or hotel simply because she has a lot of dogs. And like I have pets, you know, I have a dog and a cat, but she has like five dogs and it was a lot. <laughs> It was a lot, so I would stay somewhere else if I went there again. I would not stay at her house, but <laughs> yeah, it was a really great trip. Um, where else have I been? I've been to a lot of Caribbean islands and to Mexico a couple of times. Just because it's cheaper, you know, you can always find a flight for like less than $500 round trip to any of those places. I have never been anywhere in Africa or Europe or Asia just because, like I said, it, those flights be expensive. Like you have to plan ahead, okay? You gotta have the funds from the get-go. But yeah, I've been to Aruba, I've been to Jamaica, I've been to Cabo, I've been to Cancun. Uh, I've been to Cozumel, I've been to I'm definitely I've been to St. Martin. I was like, I know I'm missing something. Um, I've been to Turks and Caicos. I have a Turks and Caicos vlog on my channel. I went there for my 26 yeah, my 26th birthday <laughs> and yeah, I just really like to travel. I like to go to warm, tropical places. Um, I don't think you will ever catch me going to like a ski trip because I'm just not a cold weather girl. I would never pay money to go somewhere that's cold. If I'm going on vacation, it's gonna be warm. I think I might be missing some other places, but yeah. I have been out the country and I plan to go to so many more places. Do you speak any different languages? No, unfortunately, I only speak English. I took French for seven years. I took it all through high school and I took it in college. And by my senior year, I was just like, I'm not getting it. I like, I can't. So I dropped French my senior year of college uh, yeah. I mean, I wish I would have stuck with it, but I feel like only the people who went to study abroad in a French country, like, really learned it, and I didn't get the opportunity to do that, so it just was not happening for me. Like, it was really just so hard to learn through a book. Like, I really needed to be talking to people daily in order to get it. Also, my dad speaks another language, but I have no idea what it's even called. Um, he never taught it to me or my sister. We never learned it. And he only ever spoke it when he was on the phone with his mom or his dad, and they both passed, so I've never heard him speak it since. But yeah, I don't even know what language he speaks is called. Like he <laughs> never, never had us learn that. So I could have been bilingual. I really could have. Not that I think it's even a useful language to know. Like the only person I would have ever spoken it to is my dad. So there's just that bit, but <laughs> Um, yeah, I still wish I would have learned something. It's always easiest to learn a language when you're little. And I'm still gonna try, I'm still gonna try and continue with French. Like, unless I'm speaking to someone daily in that language, like, getting able to talk back and forth, um, at least for 30 minutes a day, just talking with someone in that language, I'm not gonna learn it. Like, I can't just learn from an app or learning from a book. Next question. Uh, wow, I feel like I droned on so long about that. <laughs> okay. Uh, who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Girl. 
I watch a lot of YouTube, so let's see. I love Lisette. I love her videos. Um, I've been watching, like, we're the same age, but I've been watching her since I was 18. So since we were both 18, I've been watching her YouTube videos. I watch a lot of the UK girlies, um, Miriam Musa, uh, Uche, uh, Adiola Patron. Um, Nella was a big one, but she don't be on YouTube anymore at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, all their videos are so good, love them. Lisette doesn't really be on YouTube that much anymore either. Like she'll post like one video a month, if that. But <laughs> still love her videos. Oh, Simply Kennedy, um, Aaliyah's Face, Tasha, Natasha Smith. I love her videos. I uh, love her vlogs and her makeup videos. Like her makeup, her application just uh, she always looks so flawless. I love her makeup videos and her vlog. She's just really funny. And should I put on more foundation? I feel like I'm not getting a lot of coverage. Let's see. I can't think of anyone else off the top of my head right now. But yeah, those are a lot of the YouTubers I watch like consistently and I really like their- Oh, the Glam Twins, Kendra and Kelsey. Like them, I've also been watching since I was like 17 or 18 and in high school. And they're the ones who like convinced me to go natural <laughs> my senior year of high school. I did the big chop um, spring break of my senior year. And that's when I quickly learned that we do not have the same hair type. <laughs> yeah, I quickly learned that, oh, these girls have a entirely different type and texture than I do. But um, I still learned how to take care of my natural hair from them and just like a lot of products that they use, I still use on my hair. so. Love them and uh, their vlog channel, Glam Twins TV. I watch that a lot too. Do you consider yourself to be an extrovert or an introvert? I consider myself to be an introvert. Um, I'm really not like the bubbly personality type of person. Um, only when I'm really comfortable with someone will I just be like, you know, talkative and Sorry, I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> only when I really, what was I saying? Oh, only when I really like am comfortable with someone will I be uh, more talkative and just like open. So yeah, I'm definitely an introvert. Unless I've been drinking, I'm not just gonna be like that life at the party bubbly type of personality and I love people who are like that I admire them I really really do because I wish I was more talkative and just like comfortable talking to new people or speaking in public in general but I am not only when I have a shot or two or you know a cocktail or two, that's only when it happens for me. <laughs> what social media platform do you use the most? I would say I'm on Instagram the most, even though I don't post the most on there. Um, I'm just on it more than anything else. I deleted Twitter completely because I used to be on that a lot and like two hours would go by and I'm just still scrolling on Twitter and I was like, okay, I gotta stop this. This is like really wasting my time. <laughs> so I deleted Twitter. I do have a Threads account, but again, I don't really post on there. I just be on there like looking at other people's stuff. But I try not to get on Threads a lot either. And I try also not to get on TikTok a lot because you can spend hours on that app just looking at videos and I can't 
So once I post um, my TikTok, and I'll watch like maybe two or three, but then I'll make myself get off because I can't just be scrolling on here forever. Do you have any tattoos or piercings? Uh, yes, I have my ears pierced, uh, just the regular first hole. Um, I've had them pierced since I was a baby, like I think one week out of the hospital my mom took me to get my ears pierced and they've been pierced ever since. And oh, I also have my belly button pierced. And then tattoos, I have three. I have one on my, what is this? Forearm? That's not a forearm. Bicep. <laughs> I have one on my bicep. Uh, I have one on the side of my ribs and I have one going down the side of my hip. This one says Lumos. It is the spell in Harry Potter that creates light. And so I just really like that, so I got it tattooed. <laughs> and the one on my rib says happiness, and the one on my um, going down the side of my hip is another Harry Potter tattoo, and it says it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. So those are my three. I actually do think I want more. I just don't know what yet and I don't want to get a tattoo unless I'm really certain of what I want. Who is your celebrity crush? Who's my celebrity crush? I have no idea. Like there's a lot of celebrities I think are cute. I think I would have to say maybe, ah, uh, this looks really bad. I think I would have to say maybe um, Devonte Adams or DK Metcalf or Tyler Lepley. I think those are my top three. Oh, I also think Justin Herbert's really cute. As you can tell, I'm a football girl because three of those people were NFL players if you didn't know who any of them were. And then Tyler Lepley is an actor. Ugh, why is this not blending? This looks really bad. How did I mess up my contour so badly? Okay. Uh, do you have any phobias? I think like I'm afraid of noises in the dark. Is that a phobia? Like is that a rational phobia? I don't know. <laughs> no idea. Let's see if we can't fix this. Are you a morning person or a night person? I guess I have to say night if I have to choose, but really I don't be feeling either one sometimes. If you could have any superpower, what would it be? I would want the ability to uh, teleport, what is that, teleportation? Yeah. Be in one place and then with a snap of the fingers I'm somewhere completely different absolutely I mean as someone who likes to travel that seems like the most useful uh, superpower and I would utilize that all the time because <laughs> flights be expensive I've kind of fixed my what's it called my cream bronzer but I still feel like I need to add a little bit more concealer up here I don't know girl oh that may be too much ah what are steps you're taking to achieve your goals uh, I am okay some of my goals that I have for I would say the pretty near future involve 
having money <laughs> so I've been saving I've been trying not to eat out as much um, I've been trying not to go shopping uh, some other goals that I have just trying to keep to a schedule keep myself disciplined with you know what I'm striving towards so yeah those are some steps I'm taking to achieve my goals and if they happen I will be happy to share them with you okay now for powder since I finally got that situation fixed I'm using the morphe that's rich palette what is your favorite food I don't think I have like a single favorite food but I have like different types of cuisine that I really love um, I love Japanese food I love Indian love Indian food and I love like Caribbean food and my family is uh, West African both my parents are Liberian um, all my aunts and uncles are Liberian and I do like West African food but I just feel like since I grew up eating it and since I eat it like every holiday uh, every graduation party every wedding that I've been to like I just sort of kind of gravitate towards other types of cultures food just because I've eaten um, West African food so much uh, so yeah I would say my biggest one my number one is Indian food uh, then like Caribbean food um, maybe more specifically Jamaican and then Japanese food yes those are my big three love them they're so good <laughs> uh, and they're spicy like I love a culture that knows how to do spicy right uh, what is your favorite music genre? R&B. I'm an R&B girl down. If you had asked me this like five years ago, I probably would have said pop. Okay, because, you know, I love Ariana Girl. I love Dua Lipa. Well, let me not say love. I love Ariana. Dua Lipa is a little newer, so but I do like her music. <laughs> Just used to listen to a lot of pop music, uh, pop radio, but now... It's R&B all the way. What is your favorite TV show? I don't think I have a favorite that's currently running, but for a TV show that's been off air for years, I really, really love Living Single. Like, it is just so great. It's so funny. It's just a really feel-good show. I also really like The Golden Girls. It's just hilarious. Uh, <laughs> I like I love that show I've probably seen every episode five times I don't even know and it's also a really good background show oh a newer show that came out that I love is Insecure Issa Rae did her thing on that one I really love Insecure I've re-watched it twice now and I'm probably gonna re-watch it again at some point I think it's another I would consider that another feel-good show like I just can watch Insecure and just be like happy. What is your favorite movie? Um, my favorite, favorite, favorite movie of all time is Remember the Titans, Denzel Washington. Uh, it's just such a classic, great movie. But I do have a like a long list of favorite movies for like different types of things. Um, well, not a long list, maybe like eight, but I love Avatar, the first one. Uh, Avatar The Way of Water was really good. I did go see it in theaters, but the first one was just way better to me. Uh, I love Harry Potter, all of them. Um, okay, I really need to stop talking <laughs> when I'm uh, lining my lips. Hang on. Okay, I love Harry Potter. Um, Harry Potter is also like my one of my favorite books, so or book series, whatever. So, love, love, love Harry Potter. I've seen that more times than I can count. Another really good movie uh, that I've only seen once, and if I ever watch it again, I'll probably only watch it one other time. Is 
Prisoners. And that's just because if you've ever seen Prisoners, it's with uh, Hugh Jackman and Jake Gyllenhaal and Viola Davis and Terrence Howard are in it, but they're like secondary characters. Uh, but like it was a really good movie. It was just really hard to watch because there were some torture scenes in it. And it, those type of things are just really hard for me to watch. Oh, and my favorite, favorite, favorite comedy ever is Think Like a Man. I love that movie. It's just a really great, feel-good comedy. Like, uh, Think Like a Man is so funny. I've seen it 14 or so times. Like, it's amazing. <laughs> Love it, love it, love it. What is your favorite book? Oh, this is also one of the movies I forgot to mention, but The Perks of Being a Wallflower is such an amazing book. Uh, the movie was really good, but obviously the book was better. Um, and also the movie has Ezra Miller in it, so yeah, it, it didn't age well, unfortunately. But the book, the book is great and um, I really like like romantic comedies. I've read a lot of them. I like Confessions of a Shopaholic series by Sophie Kinsella. Um, Jasmine Guillory. Jasmine Guillory, I think that's how you say her name. Um, she has a lot of romantic, I would say they're like dramedies because they're not really comedies and they're not really like full-on drama but they got a little of both in them so yeah I just really like those kinds of books I also like adventure books I love the Percy Jackson series uh, Percy Jackson and the Olympians and um, I'm trying to think oh I love the book Skipping Christmas uh, it's the book that the movie uh, Christmas with the Cranks is based off of and the book is so hilarious like the movie is really funny but again the book is better like the book is so funny and I just yeah I I'll read pretty much any genre um, except like horror I don't watch horror <laughs> I feel like I said horror but I'm saying horror okay uh, let me just say scary okay <laughs> I do not like scary books I do not like scary movies I will not watch them and I will not read them I'm gonna spray my face I'm going to do my lashes off camera and fill in my eyebrows and then I'll come back and just answer a few more questions because I feel like this video is really long already but there's a few more questions that I want to answer so yeah I will be right Alright y'all, I'm back. I did my mascara, I put on some lashes. I also put on some highlighter. It looks very pretty. It's from the same palette, the Morphe palette. I used this gold shade and I actually got this from my cousin uh, in the mail for Christmas and I absolutely love this palette. Like, it looks so pretty. Every product and the shade names uh, that I use for everything will be in the description box below but I also just wanted to take the time to say that I love how my makeup came out like I wasn't even concentrating for real because I was trying to answer these questions and especially when we had that mishap with the cream bronzer um, yeah it all came together like the face is sitting and I'm just gonna use some essence gloss uh, it's a clear gloss but I always put it like directly on my lipstick so it's looking a little tinted but just wanted to do a glossy lip but everything came out I'm showing y'all this side because I got a big old pimple on this side <laughs> so today my right side is my good side it varies every time a pimple goes away another one pops up anyways let me get back to the questions I just want to answer a couple more what is the wildest thing you did in college okay <laughs> this may not be wild to some cuz actually I know this might not be wild to some cuz I seen how some of y'all was in college okay I was there but 
Uh, my freshman year, I decided I wanted my ears double pierced and I decided I was gonna do it myself. <laughs> so I took a sewing needle and I burned it with a match to like sterilize it. I don't know, I saw that on TV, I guess. And then I took some ice cubes and then I just put them on my ears to numb them. And then I just stuck the needle through my ear and you can still, well, I don't think you can, but I can still kind of see the hole there. Like, they closed up, but you can still kind of see the hole. Um, but, <laughs> so I pierced my ears and I put earrings in immediately. And I was, as I was looking at myself in the mirror, I was like, it's crooked. I was like, one, this, I think it's this one. Yeah, this one was so much lower than this one. This one was perfect. And then this one was like, so much lower and like it was very obvious and I was like oh my gosh it's crooked what am I gonna do what I'm gonna do I think I kept the earrings in for like three days and I was like no they look really really bad to me so I just took it out and I let my ears close up but honestly I had no infection or anything like there was a lot that could have gone oops uh, there was a lot that could have gone wrong, but like my earlobes were fine. There was no anything that was going on with them except for the fact that I pierced my ears crooked. And I realized that my earlobes, my ears in general are really small, but my earlobes are really small. So when I would wear bigger earrings, the second piercing, like it wouldn't have even worked out. So I just have two small earlobes for a double piercing and I never did it again. I never got it professionally done. I just let it close up and that was that. So that is the wildest thing I did in college. Again, probably not wild to some people, but piercing my own ears was wild for me. Do you have kids or do you want kids? I do not have kids. Thank you, God. I, I would consider if I got pregnant right now, I'd be like, teenage pregnancy <laughs> like I could not look after a whole nother human being right now and I'm 27 I like I'm not even talking about like just financially but I'm still getting myself together I'm still figuring my life out you know I feel like I'll be ready for a kid around 32 33 uh, but right now I don't want kids. I don't think I want kids with an S ever. Um, I might just want one and specifically I want a daughter and I don't know if I want to go through nine months of pregnancy and labor and delivery just to have a son. Like I, <laughs> if I got pregnant and I found out I was having a son, I would be a little disappointed I would I'm not gonna lie so I'll probably adopt if I ever decide now's the time I want to have a child uh, and if I don't adopt and I take that 50 50 chance then whatever it is I am just having one maybe I really do want a girl if I have a son first like I have to go again I have to and if I have a son again okay no 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 <laughs> okay but yeah I do want one child for sure uh, do I want kids with an S mm, no are you married single or in a situationship <laughs> I am single I have actually never been in a relationship at all ever I've never had a boyfriend uh, like even in fifth grade when you have a boyfriend and it doesn't even really count because it's fifth grade yeah I've never even had that so yeah I've never been in a relationship and the longer I've gone without being in a relationship I'm just like I'm kind of good cuz I mean I've been on dates like I've dated but it never went into a relationship um it d 
didn't ever go into a situationship either, so I can say that that's a plus. I feel like that's a whole nother video for a whole nother day. Uh, what was your first job? So like my first professional job was an accounts receivable specialist. But my first job like ever was working in the one of the retail gift shops at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. I had a lot of jobs there actually. I worked in the gift shops as a cashier. I worked in the food court. Um, I fed parakeets. I fed stingrays. It got hot and they would not let you sit. So one day I literally just walked out and I never went back. <laughs> Cause I couldn't do it anymore. And that was my last time working there. What is your star sign? Ooh, uh, zodiac questions. I can't believe I haven't seen any. Um, I am a Taurus. That is my, it says star sign. Is that what it's called? I thought it was sun sign. Or are they the same thing? Anyways, I'm a Taurus, that's my sun. My moon is a Pisces. I know I didn't ask all this, but I'm gonna tell you. I'm a Pisces moon, and I am a Scorpio rising. And I know like everything else about my chart too, but I'm gonna just tell you the big three. When is your birthday? My birthday is May 11th. Taurus baby. What is the first concert you've ever been to? My first ever concert was Selena Gomez and I actually really enjoyed myself. <laughs> I, like I said before in this video, I was a pop girl. Loved pop in high school, okay? And in college a little bit, but that's when I kind of started more towards liking R&B more. But yeah, my first ever concert was Selena Gomez. And I was 17 and my sister took me and it was a great concert loved it enjoyed myself but honestly I have not really listened to Selena Gomez like since high school still like Ariana though I have been to an Ariana Grande concert too should I just start listing all the concerts I've been to I haven't been to that many I've been to Selena Gomez Drake um, Sam Smith One Direction Ariana Grande, I've been to Beyonce twice now because I went to the On The Run Tour 2 and I went to the Renaissance and who else have I seen in concert? I think that's it. Okay, here's going to be the last question. Um, what did you major in in college? I majored in finance economics and I now have a job, as I said, as a cost analyst. So yeah that is going to be the last question of my <laughs> get to know me tag uh, i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me thank you so so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next one bye and when I'm walking by, I know the truth is